Okay. Um I praise you how about Shah Shai. Basha Makaka Dash. A double as double honest to the pastors that great most old. I salute to all the brethren out there uh, teaching the word sincerity and truth. Um you know, I'll just uh, try to go live just and um you know, Satan, you know, st stuck his nose in <laughs> you know you know, that's what happens, man. When, you know, when you're um, doing this work, you know, you know, Satan uh, likes to stick his nose in. You know, but that's just uh, part of the, the territory when you're teaching these scriptures, man. Um, anyway, um, in this lesson, I'm going to go, I'm, I haven't written anything down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about, the, you know, the general stuff we talk about, end times, um... You know the mark of the beast. Uh, you know, you know things of that nature. But um, you know, we know we're in the end times, man. You know. Matter of fact, let me get um, the book of Second Peter's, man, because um, you know we know we're in the end times. So you know you gotta be you gotta meditate on that and be spiritual, man. Is this what I want? Um, it's not what I want, boy. So okay. Uh, give me a second, three and one. So, uh, like I was saying, <clears throat> let me go back. Um, bear with me. Fuck, I'll just get it again. So, <clears throat> like I was saying, man, when you start doing these videos, you know, Satan just sticks his nose in. So I've had to restart this and, um, you know, go a different way about it. Anyway, straight into the scriptures, man. So like I'm saying, we're in the end times, man. Um, you know, for all the people out there that don't know what's going on, you know, it's a high time to wake out of sleep, man. And a lot of you are going to get ready to get chipped. You know, a lot of you, um, you know, pretty much, you, you, you're marked, you're sealed for destruction because you're not going to repent, you know. And, you know, and a lot of you are just damn right, outright idiots, man. So let's go into these, let's go into some scriptures. Uh, 2 Peter 3 and 1, it says, The second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Now, um, what you have to understand is, um, you know, at one point we was all asleep. And the Lord, using this word, you know, has brought us back to the understanding of, of the truth. Because the men that are back here today that are following the Lord, they're the same men that were following the Lord back then. So through the Lord, through the spirit of the book, the spirit, man, you know, the Lord puts you back in in remembrance of, of the former things. You know, so you find out that you're not a Negro, you know, you're not a, a West Indian, you're not a, a Puerto Rican and all that, Mexicano and all this, you know, you find out that you're an Israelite, man, all right? It says, that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. And, um, you know, there's prophecies that the prophecy the prophets spoke that still haven't been fulfilled yet, that have been fulfilled as we speak. And um, you notice, right, a lot of these different organizations, whether it be Muslims, churches, you know, a lot of them, ain't got, they ain't going into no prophecies, man. They don't want to talk about prophecies. No, let me see what that is. I don't know, I don't know what that is. Yeah, whatever, man. So, um, you know, we're the ones who are coming out with prophecies, man. And the Bible says what to be occupied in prophecy. A lot of a lot of people they don't even believe in prophecy. Let's just be real about it, man. They believe in this they believe in the world. They ain't got faith. They just believe in the that the here and the now. A lot of people are confused, you know. It says that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles, and the Lord and Saviour. Right? And then, um, you know, Yahweh Shai, man, he, he died on that cross and he redeemed us back to the Heavenly Father because we all fell off. You know, the Lord had to, you know, you know reconcile us, bring us back to the Heavenly Father through what the blood, the blood, man, that was shed on the cross. You know, because when you check it out in the ancient world, uh, if you did a particular sin, you would get like a, 
a lamb or something or something like that and, you know, sacrifice that for your sins. Okay. He says, knowing this first, that they shall come in the last day scoffers, walking after their own lusts. So everybody that's, that, I don't believe that. You know, the Bible or the scriptures, Yehovah Hashem Yehovah Shai, the Lord, Yehovah Shai, it's written through the, it's already written now that you'd already do this. So you, yeah, this Bible's got everything in it, man. The same people that walk around, I don't believe in that, bruv. Or whatever you're saying. Are you still reading that Bible and all that? Whatever, however, however, whoever and how of ever they're scoffing the scriptures already said that you dudes would you individuals would be doing this mate okay right so knowing this first that they shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own loss or how do we know you guys are the, the men of the lord you know, why should we listen to you how do we know that this man's even going to come back how do we know it's going to be in this lifetime <laughs> bro that that you're a scoffer and if you can't see if you can't see how you fix skulls Right, uh, your lame brains. If you can't see that the Lord isn't isn't raising up the, the Israelites, then then <laughs> just forget about it, bro. You know you can't see that the dark state that we was in, and the Lord's raising brothers up from different walks of life that are in the spirit, man. That are brotherly, you know, that are put upon wisdom of all things. If you just think this is just some casual stuff, then you're off your plot, off the plot, mate. Which a lot of you dudes are. And you know what it says, walking after their own loss. So, you know, you rather party, you rather keep going to these, uh, you know, um, baseball games, basketball games. You know, you'd rather do all that than, than, than listen to the scriptures. No, well, you know, I don't wanna, you just want to uh, live in pleasures. All right? Anyway, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? And that's what our people say, man. You know, you got Israelites that are praying to, you know, Venezuela, praying to the dead and all that, and all these different tribes praying to idols. And, you know, you got Israelites out there on the streets. I don't believe in the Bible, man. That's what they say. You know, but, you know, all that's going to change. That's why we're seeing um, the signs that Yahweh Shai, uh, 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 you know, it's laid down. You know, for example, in the book of Matthew 24 and other scriptures, it says, in saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Beginning of the creation. Right? Um, for this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of the God, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water, and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished so uh, that rulership back then that uh, that um, that realm you know on the earth um the lord judged that with the water because you know however whatever was going on back then men will wax wicked and you know back then you had the three classifications of people because uh, you had the sons of the power the sons of the wicked and the sons of men to the spirits of the other nations and all of everybody, the spirits of everybody was back there. And, you know, men, Esau was there, but you just weren't being called Esau then. And the Lord had to flood that place because of the wickedness thereof that was going on back then. You know, so this, this Bible's real, man. You know, this is earth, this is the life, this is the history. You know, there was a great flood on the planet, man. You know, there was a great, great flood. Now, these other nations have got flood stories. Like, you know, ancient um, flood stories. You know, some of these heathen nations. Why? Because a flood actually happened. Okay? And the Lord did that, man. You know? Um, but the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So the Lord, man, the Lord, you can't mess with your whole bosh on your whole shy. He, he flooded, he drowned people out right then, man. <laughs> you know, you just see that he starts raining and he ain't going to stop. And, and you just, man, that, 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 that would have been scary as hell. So this time around, he's saying it's going to be a, a lakes of fire, man. And how's that going to happen with the missiles? And we're seeing that. I mean, just use your brain and, you know, look around at what's happening on the planet. 
you know, just look around at, um, you know, the news. You know, they they they're always uh, China, uh, Russia. Russia just showcase some missiles they got, which they all got missiles, man. They got they got tons of missiles out there. Um, but you know, this this proves that you know you gotta be thinking, well, why why on the news is all they always talking about World War Three, or they're talking about um. You know, this country against that country and then they show them to shooting the rockets or the nukes testing them out. Because they're going to be used, bro. The missiles are going to be used. Okay, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So the end times, man, is going to be... And the, and, the, and the elites know this. Uh, look at the movie um, Terminator. I don't know if it's the second or the third, whatever. And they got that bitch dying on the. Um, she gets burnt. America gets destroyed with a nuke. And there's many movies on that. You know, and 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 that's showing you the elites. <laughs> the, the elites know that this Bible's true, man. The elites know there is gonna be a great day of judgment. So all you people that are asleep, you know, you you, you just don't know what's going on, man. I swear, man. I, I shouldn't even say it like that, but. Well, you, you people don't know what's going on, man. Okay. Um, it says, but, uh, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. So with the Lord, man, you know, it's like it was no time. It's like a thousand years to the Lord is like a day, man. So you might have empires and all this history. Because with men in the flesh, it's like, oh, that's a long time. But to the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yehovah, the Father of Spirits, he ain't no, he ain't no, he ain't, uh, um, the time ain't that long to him. It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. And, um, you know, the Lord, how does the Lord bring you to repentance? What, not through no Creflo Dollar, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, you know, it, it just defeats me that you got these people out there that believe that a, a Negro looking like um, Alexander O'Neill in a suit <laughs> is 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 uh, is gonna bring them to the Lord, man. The dude's got the pimp ring on. He might have the pinky ring, you know, the the, the slider shoes. Whatever you want to call them, loafers or whatever the one you want to call them, the cleanest pressed suit out on the planet, you know, perfumed up. You know, he's got the microphone. You know, the stage is all clean. You know, a whole bunch of black women in there. And and that's supposed to be um, the Lord speaking. The Lord ain't speaking through people like that. The dude looks like a pimp. You know, the the, the men of the Lord weren't wearing no. F Effing business suits, man. <laughs> Anytime you see a dude in a business suit, man, you already know what time that is. That's after Esau's model right now, man. You know, they prop them up because even the Edomite preachers, they wear them business suits with the mic, you know, they got the same setup, you know. Anyway, but I guess that's the image to, to, to reel people in. You got to have that worldly crisp image. All right, it says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And even when them chariots invade, the, the so-called UFOs, the chariots, bruh, they're coming, they're not, it ain't going to be, oh, yeah. You know, you ain't gonna get um, you ain't gonna get let. Look, we're letting you know now, but when that when they appear, it's gonna be a shock. Like, what the hell is that in the sky, man? You know, that's why when you see them, they're like flashing. You know, because it's it's like a, they're moving like a thief. The element of surprise, man. New people are just not ready for that, right? It says in which the in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and you tell me someone comes as a thief. Your whole shy man is not coming. For peace into this world. This world has waxed great, greatly wicked. This world is, is, is dark. It's dark and demonic, man. And off. And all the people that 
don't like what we're saying, well, that makes you dark and demonic, bruv, then you will get fucking killed by the, when, when the Lord sets this thing up. You know? The Lord's going to take you guys out, man. Okay? You, you, you think that you think that you can just get away with talking shit and mocking the Lord and, and oh, well, you know, and all that. And, you know, you're going to die in your wickedness, man. You want to put them Christmas trees up in the house. You want to eat pork, shrimps, lobsters. You want to do this. You want to do that. You want to worship any God under the sun. Well, you're going to die, man. All right? Anyway, but the Lord, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So, um, you know, these places are all going to be on fire, man. You know what I mean, bro? Like, uh, America's going to be a lake of fire and uh, the other parts of Europe are going to get hit with missiles. You know, um, you know, you got certain targets all over the earth. You know, hot spots where the nukes are going to hit. And you're gonna have to check the fire from the chariots. It's gonna be a lot of fire in that day. A lot of fire. There's gonna be. Okay. Alright, so seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Alright. So what does that mean? Does that mean humming in the back of a church? <laughs> <laughs> Does it mean that? You don't mean that? Okay. It means meditating on these scriptures, man, and the truth. You know, some of you, you know, you just go sit there and you listen to the the, the post Christian pork chop pastors. <laughs> right? And then all you're doing is holding the Bible on your lap and you're just humming, man. And then you go home and you hum some more. Then you might hum... The Lord is my shepherd, and then and then that's it. Then you're just being wicked all day, right? The Lord ain't dealing with that, man. He says, seeing then that the, all these things shall be dissolved, I mean nuclear fires coming. How come they don't even teaching about that? Anybody not teaching about destruction? That man's fucking lost. Okay. Now some of you guys will turn off the video if you hear somebody use the f word. Well, fine. You know what? You know what I got to say about that. You ain't, you can when when the when the missiles are in the air, you're gonna wish that you listen to the men of the Lord, man. Well, yeah, he was a bit rough, but now my ass is about to get fucking bathed in fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's what's gonna happen with a lot of you people out there. You know, it's gonna be that time, and then then you just then and you've mucked and scuffed, and then it's gonna be time for you to get done. Because that's what's gonna happen to a lot of you guys. You're gonna get done, mate. Okay. And there's going to be no coming back. And even, if, especially you use that take the mark of the beast, man. You, you're done. Call it a day, mate. Call it a night. You know? Anyway, it says, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just, uh, <laughs> sometimes you throw the odd jokes in there, man. I'm just, uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> it's a seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right? So, you know, like I said, people have got this image in their mind about you walking around with a suit on, you know, with the Bible in your armpit, you know, and, you know, and um, you don't you don't say one F word or nothing and that makes you holy. But, you know, it's like these, you know, black women in the church, the wickedest demons out there. And these black men in the church, so-called black men, so-called black, wickedest demons out there. But I just think if they walk around with that Edomite image, you know, because that like slaves, really, you know. They, like, they want to please Edomites with their tone of voice and all that and their demeanor. But Edomites, they don't give a fuck anyway, man. Edomites do what the hell they want to do, you know. Anyway, it says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord. And what does that in entail? That in <laughs> what it's going to say in the next uh, verse so, right, so anybody that picks up the scriptures, you're supposed to be, what, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, right? Where, and it says, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, right? And that heavens represents Esau's heaven under the firmament, man. And it says, and the, ele and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So, you know, pretty much you going around 
speaking this to people, you're going to sound like a madman because, you know, you think these people that are getting up and trying to get degrees and, you know, trying to, their lifetime goal is to own a house somewhere in a nice neighbourhood, um, you know, with four bedrooms and have three cars outside or whatever they want, you know, they want to work in a, 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 some type of job or do some type of career that they're studying for, for, whatever the career is. Do you think that people like this or uh, thinking about n and uh, the heavens being on fire and the elements, meaning all these buildings and, and America being nuked and, and burnt with fire, do you think they're thinking about that? No. That's why the Bible says, man, man, if the world hate you, know that it hated me before it hated you. The world's not going to like you for speaking this truth. People don't want to hear that, bro. You think people want to hear all this? But the elect, that's why the Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. So this ain't for them. Fuck them. Okay, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. And a lot of these people, man, they're so wicked. You tell them about the kingdom and they still got a problem with it, man. Look, you know, our women are going to be in order. You know, you're going to be able to drink from the waters, the streams. The city is going to be made out of gold. There's going to be no murdering going on. You know, there's going to be no, you know, uh, so-called black-on-black crimes going on. We're going to be kings and priests. You know, we're going to all our food's going to be whole, and you know, we're going to have the other nations in captivity, and they're going to be under us. They, they don't want to hear that, man. How wicked have you got to be to not want to hear that? You are a low life, treach. <laughs> Anyway, it says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. And how the hell, and this goes another one for you so-called Christians out there, which I don't even know why I'm mentioning the Jews a lot. But they, how does new heavens and the new earth going to come unless there's going to be destruction? How? You, you can't have one without the other, bro. You don't get smoke without the fire, so to speak. You know? Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. And how do we do that, man? What? By presenting your bodies. You know what, man? I'm going to come back to this. Romans 12 and 1, one of my favorite scriptures. I bring it out a lot um, because, it's, you know, it speaks volumes, man. That scripture, you know, I kind of, you know, that scripture, you know, stood out to me, man, when I first come in this truth, man. Uh, Romans 12 and 1. I beseech ye, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of, 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 the, of the Lord, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, right? Holy, acceptable unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service. Because how, you know, how do you um, make yourself a sacrifice, man? You're not doing what you used to do. You know, you, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not in that festive Spirit, you know, every one of these festive holidays of pagans, festivals, you know, you leave the church, you leave the Muslims or whatever you was into. Um, you don't just eat anything in the shops. You don't eat pork and crabs and all that. You know, when you go to the supermarket, you go to an eat out, you got to look at that menu now. Like, yeah, some of these meats are unclean, unholy. So, you know, you've transformed your mind, man. Whereas everybody else, yeah, I just want some of that crab. Give me the crab and all that. You know what I mean? Or the, you know, um, shrimps. Yeah, past the shrimps and all that. These animals, man. Yeah, the mac and shrimps. <laughs> you know, mac and shrimps, man. That's disgusting. But you know that that you, you get you grow a beard. Yeah, the Lord don't want me to be shaving my face and looking like no smooth baby bottom boy. You know. So so you get that fear, man. You get and that's the sacrifice because you're still in a wicked world. You're still in a world where everything is geared against the scriptures. But you're doing like a lot of these people, like these Christians. They don't even know that, man. They're talking about the Christians, but they're doing everything of the world. They'll eat the crab's legs. They'll go to theaters. They're just doing everything that the world. They've, they've got the Christmas trees up. They don't know what the hell they're doing, man. Them dudes are whacked out of their heads. To do no obstinances. Just because I walk around saying, God loves you, brother. You know? God just loves you. He wants you. He, he thinks about you. And all this. All, you know, like the maniacs there are. You know? 
Anyway, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service. So that's what we're meant to do, man. You know, be warriors for the Lord, man. Matter of fact, the Bible says that. Let me let me get them scriptures before I forget them. I can come back to this. Uh, we're actually warriors for the Lord, man. Now, we're not carnal warriors because we're not going to go around fighting nobody or nothing like that. But... Uh, see, even this is a good scripture. Talking about the persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch. Uh... But that's not what I'm looking for. I think I'm looking for... Um, give me a second. <clears throat> is it two or is it one? Let me check. Uh, right. The second Timothy is two and one. It says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shai. And the things that... The, and and, and Yahweh Shai, man, he was going around teaching and they crucified him, man. So that shows you how people think. About the people that are serving the Lord, bruv. Right? It says, and the things that thou hast heard of. And look, man, you go around. I'll give you an extreme example. You you curse out some homosexuals. See how see, see how people are going to look at you, man. Oh, he's hateful, man. He's, he just hates. You know? He's hateful. People be cursing you out. Dude, people can do what they want, dude. Why are you hating? Fuck you, okay? How about that? It says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in your whole shy, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. The same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of your whole shy. So the scriptures is telling us to endure hardness as a good soldier of your whole shy, man. So we're, we're soldiers for the Lord. Now, you know, when you check out the life of soldiers and stuff, you know, they abstain from a lot of things, man. They gotta get up, they gotta train. You know, they gotta go through uh, rigorous um drills, conditioning and drills. Well that's what it's like when you come to this truth. You know, you go to the store, you might be with a you say you're dating a chick or you're dating this lass. You know, she's out there, she might not know what you're into. she's like, Yeah, yeah, I want the crabs and yeah, she she's she getting ready to buy you like, I don't eat no crabs. So that's a variance right there. Now she might be, she might kick up a fuss about it, but you know in your head, I ain't gonna eat no damn crabs, man. A point blank period. Now a lot of you dudes, because it's a woman, you don't, you know, you don't want to upset the the ma. You gonna eat them crabs? <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, he says, "Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai." Okay. Um, and there's many examples of that, man. You brothers know what you're going through in your personal lives as to why, you know, your family coming against you or, you know, oh, there's something wrong with this boy. You know, he's growing this big beard on his face and you don't come around at Christmas or whatever it is, man. Whatever the hell, wh however you do it, however, you, you know, whatever your little thing is, people what people know. Or he never, every Saturday, he's, he's, where is he? He's out on them streets or, you know, he ain't, he ain't taking me out. He's never free on the weekend or the Saturday. And you're like, well, okay, well, Sunday, you know, I'm available. But ain't, that ain't good enough for them. It's that Saturday. So now, you know what I mean? So you're dealing with that madness. You know, it's just, man, anyway. It says, no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. Now, how can how can you people, how can you get around that now? So, I'm, you know what the bottom, the bottom line is? We're dealing with some outright fucking devils to, nowadays, man. That just hate the scriptures, they hate the Lord, they hate righteousness, and you just all up, you just a bunch of outright fucking devils, man. That's pretty much what it is. The Bible just said, you know, you got people saying, "Oh, but you're supposed to enjoy life," and all this, um, you know, you you you, you, sh you can't be hateful, and all this, man. <laughs> you know, Benjamin, you know, I'm doing them right. You can't be hateful and all of this, Benjamin. You know. You just had, you're too negative and all of this. <laughs> bro, what we're doing is actually positive, bruv. Yeah? I don't know what you're talking about, man. Anyway. Right. It says, uh, 
Uh, no man that warreth. So we're warring. We're warring. This is a war, but a spiritual battle, bruv. A spiritual battle where we, we look, man. When you go out in them streets, do you know what you're doing, man? You're condemning the elites, man. You know that. You know that would be treason in them. Basically, it's like treason. You know. Because when you come against the ruling class, you know that's like treason, man. That's so that the elites want to grab you. Grab you up, you're talking about their kingdom's gonna be nuked. You think they're happy with that, man? Which we're only telling them what the Lord we're we're only telling them what the Lord's gonna do. But that's all we're telling them. But guess what? Them elites look at you like, well, wow, how dare? How fucking dare this uh this nigra, whatever the however they or this negro, how dare he uh uh condemn my kingdom? That's how the elites look at it, man. So you so you're warring against that, you're warring against the elites. You know, and 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 everything that you stand for, the world is not not for. For example, you know if you're out there teaching on them streets, the wrong person sees it. That's your ass fired, mate. But you know what? You don't care. You know why? Because because you ready to you ready to sacrifice everything for your whole bar show me your whole shy. So your mentality is fuck the world, bro. Straight up, that's your mentality. And so that's what he says right here. Second Timothy is two and four. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. And you know, I'm kind of harping on this line here, but I mean, how can you get around that, man? No man, no man at war of entangling himself with the affairs of this life. So fuck college and all that. And all this and trying to get the three bed, the four bed house with the three cars. And you know, you so, your life's so good that you, you know, missus is happy with you. You ain't got no beard on your face. She's content because you're working your ass off and anything she says you do, like, wherever she wants to go on a day camping trip <laughs> for the weekend, you, you ain't going to the camp. You going on them, all right, baby. And you going on them um, weekend camping trips or whatever, man. You know, she might want to, you know, you know these women, like, bring around fucking devils, okay? Because she's trying to, you know, get up and be um, do what the devils are doing. You know, you see, people are worldly, man, so fuck them. So it says, no man that war of... It, it, War if entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier, man. So we're spiritual soldiers in this thing, meaning we're not physically, you know, going to war, but we're but, but we physically put our lives on the line and we're spiritually battling, you know, going out there every week on the streets, you know that. Like I said, that just that alone changes your life. Your job, your your boss might see you out there, get the sack. Okay, women leave you. Oh, what are you doing out in them streets, man? You're looking crazy. You, you're condemning everyone. And it's like, you know, that happens. That's happened. That's happened, man. Real talk. It's happened to many brothers brothers out there. You brothers already know anyway because you brothers are all going through it. All right? It says, and if a man also strive for masteries, he is not yet crowned except he strive lawfully. So you better have the doctrine right. And that's why we um, harp on, on, on the truth of the doctrine. Because, for example... Everybody teaching, oh yeah, the mark of the beast is um it's a Christianity, mate, and it's uh you know, it's um it's, it's sleeping with white women. Right. So when the mark of the beast is implemented now, them Israelite groups are gonna get chipped. Well you've just you you've just you've just not strove lawfully, man. You, you're not gonna get crowned. The only thing you can get crowned with is a fucking ring of fire around your fucking skull, mate. For teaching that fucking bogged out doctrine, man. Alright? Uh, okay, let me read on down. It says, um, uh, the uh, uh seven, uh, the husbandman that laboreth must first partake of the be part, uh, must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Yahweh Shai, of the seed of David, was raised from the dead according to my gospel. Right, and um, Joseph and Mary had sex, but that was a whole. That's a whole other lesson. You know, you got these stupid Roman Catholic fucking weirdos, man. With fucking statues of Mary and all this. Kissing the statue. I mean, you guys are crazy, man. What's wrong with you guys, man? You know? Calling her the Holy Virgin and all that. What What the hell? <laughs> man, anyway. Anyway, it says, Wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds. But the word of the Lord is not bound. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. So we go out there to wake up the elect of the nation of Israel, the 144,000, uh, 12,000 from each tribe 
and um, uh, and the electing, you know, shalom to all the brothers that are in the chat, man. And then, you know, fellow laborers and stuff like that, bro. You know, because, you know, that's what it's all about, man. It says, um, therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that ye, that they may also obtain the salvation, which is in your heart shy with eternal glory. And why the, and, and knowing, you know, what's to come, the glory of the kingdom, the golden palaces, you know, the uh, the clean waters that we're going to drink from, man. Straight, you can drink from rivers and, and stuff like that. Um, You know, the spiritual powers we're going to get. You know, being able to fly, you know, being able to um, harness uh, different, you know, elements with with your with your hands or your eyes or whatever. However, the Lord, you know, why why would you not want that, bro? Here it is. You're just a slave, man. You got to get up. You got to drive to work. You got to put in fucking eight hours or whatever the fuck you, whatever you got to do. You got to drive your lame ass back home. You, you know, with in the cold or whatever. You know, you got to go to the local GMO stores and buy the stupid ass things on the shelf. You know, and, and you try and be healthy and all that. But you're still going to Esau, man. And like I said, <laughs> why would you want that over, over... See, you Jakes have got to equip to ruling class mentality, man. Them fucking devils, bro. They look, they they know, they in their head, or oh, we're better than you. Because they know they're over, yeah? You know, they're in the countryside doing horse riding and all this... You know, own businesses, and their name and shit. You know, uh, right? It says, uh, therefore, endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in your heart. So we teach, and for other men, and the other men, um, you know, um, come in, and then other men, you know, um, get this knowledge, and they get sealed for 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 sal for salvation, man. So you know what? Let me go back to Romans, and then I'm gonna go to Revelations. You know what? Since you, you put that. You know what, man? Uh, you know what? You know what, Dennis? Said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna right now. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to Revelations 14, man. I'm gonna go to that. Uh, Revelations 14, and I'm gonna start from the top. It says, um, and 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 I looked, and lo, a lamb stood under Mount Zion. And with him, 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. That proves that the Heavenly Father and the Son are two separate entities. You got these maniacs, these fucking bogged out spirits, man, that are teaching that the the Lord uh, and, and, and your whole shy the same spirit, like they're the same entity. That is bullshit, man. Did we just, bro, the, the, the Lamb just said. He, that they, they, the 144,000 had his father's name in their foreheads. You know, you see, you got some real whack jobs. And you know what, bro? Fuck them. That's all I got to say. They're going to get fucking done. You know, the time of the talking, we're warning you now. If you don't believe, like some dudes, they ain't even put a, a day out in the streets, but they're trying to tell you. They're trying to go and tell the apostles how the word's supposed to be broken down. Bro, you fucking dudes are maniacs, man. Anyway, and oh, by the way, the lamb is your whole shy man. And, um, you know, a lamb, man, in, like I said, in the ancient world, you know, um, you would um, sacrifice lambs and all that for your sins, and your whole shy was that lamb, what, slain? Okay. It says, And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps, and they sung, as it were, a new song, before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty-four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. So we were, we're, we're redeemed from the earth, man. Because you know, even when this destruction happens, the elect are going to be delivered. Because we, you know, we're not of the fucking of this stupid uh, uh, rulership, man. This stupid rulership. Okay. You know, this rulership is low, it's, it's stupid. You know, you get you get yourself, you talk about, oh, I'm going to get yourself. Like, you got these movements, right? You got these um, love and hip-hop, and then you got Me Too and all this, and these women just running amok. You know, that's some faggot shit, man. You saw, you, you're just the devil. I don't know how you're going to have, a man's going to have a woman and kids, and a woman can just get up and say, yeah, fuck you, I'm off. I'm taking the kids too, and I'm getting half your shit. That's a lot, that's, that's, that's ridiculous, man. Really, a man, you should be able to fucking, 
smack that bitch in the face, man, just for saying some shit like that. How dare you gonna try to break my household up, man? And then you got these devils that have got these women running around saying, fuck, man, we don't need men. Men are this and men are that, and we should be able to have abortions, you know? And all this childish bullshit, man. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Are you are y'all you, serious with that shit? That's bullshit, man. Are you serious, man? You got all these movements with these women running around talking about, oh, women, you know, you know, women should, you know, being oppressed and all this. And we, you know, dude, are you really going to allow women to run around in your kingdom, running their mouths like that? You guys are crazy, man. You guys are bogged out, man. That's why this kingdom's stupid. It's low. It's degenerative. But with all that going on, um, you know, you got transgenders and, 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 and <laughs> running around rampant, man. And you're supposed to just sit there and look at that as a man and be like, okay, that that's okay, mate. Hell no, man. And it, right, Revelation 14 and 3, and, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. So a lot of these other people out there, they're just going to be bogged out into all these philosophies until they're getting destroyed, man. And a lot of you are going to get uh, uh, RFID chipped. So the Lord's given us this knowledge, man. And we, man, you know, you know what? Let me get a other scripture right quick. Job. Uh, um, Job eight and eight. It says, "For inquire, for inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers." See, we're the ancient men, man. We're the ancient men coming back. We've got this ancient knowledge, man, and, and and these people are going with this new world bullshit, this new age bullshit, man. Do what you want. Um, we see a lot of these wicked philosophies are back there, but you know these people. But you know it's not the right way, and these people are just going with whatever the go is. You know all this bullshit, abortions, and and men. You have to, you have to. First of all, men have got testosterone. They're strong for a certain reason. They're made to be dominant, man. We ain't made to be kissing no woman's fucking ass. That's wicked, man. And I ain't kissing no fucking woman's ass, man. Fuck that shit. Okay, we'll talk. Anyway, um, um, no, nah, I'm not like obviously if you got a woman and all that, you do what you got to do. You know what I mean? You know, you got to put it into perspective. I'm not saying go home and just. You know, she don't, you know, because these women are off anyway, man. You got a woman, you know, as long as she's just dealing with you or whatever, you just pop it, man. You do what you got to do and you do this work. You know, she ain't going to get, you know, like completely in order and all that. And a lot of these dudes are acting like they got their women in 100% order. They're some of the wickedest bitches on the planet. Like, you know, like in all these other Israelite groups, these women are walking around actually acting like they're Sarah and all this walking like they're holy and all this, like they're walking around floating. And a lot of them, and you see all the wickedness that be coming out of these schools, man. Adultery and all this madness. Anyway, um, <clears throat> where was I at? Uh, four. It says, these are they which were not defiled with women, which that's talking about philosophies, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the lamb, where, whichsoever he goeth. Right, so the, the, um, that's talking about um, they were clean from um, from the, the, the wicked-ass philosophies, man. And, that, and, and anybody that actually thinks that this verse is talking about uh, the men of the Lord are going to be virgins, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting these people from. You know, I don't know what. I don't know what kind of bogged out philosophy is that. Because that means that half of you, even all these Christians that say they believe in that, these dudes are not virgins themselves. So that means you ain't going to make it. You see how stupid that doctrine is. That the, this verse where it says, these are they which were not defiled with women for they are virgins. It's talking about actual virgins. With the same people breaking that scripture down, trying to say it's talking about actual virgins. They're not virgins themselves. So that means you, by by that logic, you, your ass wouldn't be making it, you dumb bastards. It's talking about philosophies, man. We're clean from the, the philosophies. The nation of Israel is known as a woman. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that. I've likened Zion. Uh. Let me see if I can get the spelling of this right. No, I don't think I'm going to get it right, you know. Um, 
Actually, I'll put it in like this. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> I can't remember exactly where that one is up up the top. Uh, I can't even find it right now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> if I can find this. No, that's not it. It might be in the park. No, but it should. Um, I have likened the daughter of Zion. I think it's I've likened into a... I might be spelling it wrong, you know. Oh, I've got certain, yeah. Well, I can't find it right now, so I'm just going to... Let me see. See if it comes up like this. All right, I can't find it right now, so I'm just going to keep it moving because... Um, I actually can't find that scripture right now. So anyway, um, until someone finds it, man, you know, post that for me, bro, because sure. But I'll probably come back and um, try and find it in a second. But let me just carry on with this. It says, uh, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow, which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the most high and the lamb. And the, the first fruits is, is the elect, man. You know, that are close to the Heavenly Father and the, and the Son, man. That were redeemed from the earth. So, you know, that's a blessing to actually be, uh, you know, uh, put into that into that number of being, um, you know, you know, uh, chosen, man. That's a blessing. You know, the men, the men of the Lord, man, you pretty much, you're close to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. And, the, you know, the, and you're gonna, the Lord's going to have mercy on you and you're going to be beamed up into them ships, man. And them ships are going to be decked out. It's going to be nothing but glory, you know. It's going to be music playing on them. You, you know, the, you don't know how they're going to be looking inside, but, you know, the, we know that the ships are decked out, man, and made with gold and stuff. So that, bro, come on, man. Anyway, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before without fault before the throne of the Lord. And anyone teaching that the mark of the beast is Christianity, you're with fault. And, you know, the, the scriptures is simple, man. You know, if anyone gets chipped, you're going to get destroyed. And, and and you teaching that, you're a false prophet. It's just simple as. Simple as, mate. Cream as. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit of a joke, man, you know. Um... And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the of, of the Most High. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. We know that's talking about the, the nation of Israel, because the nation of Israel scattered around all nations, man. Okay. Uh it says, saying with a loud voice, fear the Lord and give glory to him for the hour of judgment is come and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city because she have made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. You know, and that's Babylon the Great, which is America. You know, the whole philosophy is that of Babylon of pushing. Like, for example, man, you go to a lot of these Arab world countries, some of them over there, they got McDonald's set up. Why they got McDonald's set up there? Because America went over there and pushed their fucking philosophies. Like, that's why America and all that, and even England pushed that spirit of, oh, these women that were in veils, they're being oppressed. How the fuck do you know that, bro? You fucking devils. But you, you first of all, you allow women to abort their kids, to kill their children, and to split up their own families. So if anyone's being fucking oppressed, it's, it's the women in the West. Because... You know, they're the ones being there. Everything's being broken up and, and destroyed. You know, you, you know, the, all the marriages are all just gone down and all that. And, you know, whores are on the, on the on the Instagram shaking their fucking black asses. You know, you know that's all you get. That's all you get on there, the Instagram whores and all that. You go, you go on them Instagram sites, all you see is whores, man. Proud whores. 
first of all, bitch, you're a whore, bruv. You got your stank ass shaking it in the, in the camera, man. You, that stank ass probably gonna make that camera deteriorate. I'll stank that asses. And but you but you command respect. What the fuck is going on out here, bro? That's how you know America's going down as well, man, because the women of America weren't even going on like the women of the world weren't even going on like that at one point, man. And the women even in uh, England, America had to wear fucking dresses, man. So I don't know what the hell's going on out here, but one thing I do know is that Esau's the devil and his world's going down for all his corruption and his degradation, man. Right? It says in uh, Revelation 14 and 8, and they followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she have made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Transgenders. Uh, uh, everyone, you, you know, everyone can, you want to be gay and all this fucking bullshit, man. Or women, you can do what you want. You know, abort his babies, leave his ass. What the fuck is that? There's nothing liberating about that. That's just stupid, man. That's fucking stupid. And I can't wait till the Lord starts, like, starts stumping into the fucking, the, 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 into you people, man. Because this is fucking ridiculous. But the Lord's going to do it, man. We're in the end, right? And uh, Revelation 14 and 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hands, in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath, which is poured without mixture. So they're saying, No, you yeah, it's the, the mark of the beast, it's just Christianity. That don't make no sense, bruh. Anyway, you know what, you people that are saying that, you're just stupid, man. You're fucking stupid, okay? Point blank, period. You're fucking stupid. You don't even look no words up, karagma, stigma or nothing. You're just fucking stupid, man. That's a lazy way. Yeah, it's Christianity, bro. Yeah. Well, you know, you can't repent from having that. You grew up on, as a Christian. You can't, you, you know, you grew up as a Christian, man. When you get the mark of the beast, you can't un-get the mark of the beast, you fucking stupid bastards. <laughs> you know, some of these people, man, they get you, you know, they get you pissed off, man. Right? Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Now, I was supposed to go into spiritual powers, but I didn't really focus on the spiritual powers as much in this. But, you know, it's a spirit, man, because, you know, that's why I put the end times and the end of the... Because I knew I was going to talk about the end times. And, um, you know, but the men of the Lord are going to get spiritual powers, man. You know, the scripture says that we shall renew our... our uh, you know what, matter of fact, I'm going to get that next um, after this. It says, The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and with brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So, um, you know, these fucking devils out here, bro. What do you think is going to... These people that take the mark of the beast, man, what do you think is going to happen to them? The, 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 we're going to be in them ships... With the angels, man, and the whole shy himself, with the actual angels in ch in chariots, or whatever you want to call them, UFOs, we're going to be in them, and we're going to be watching people getting fucking burnt, bro. With, with UFO fires, with a uh, um, chariot fire. You know? Let me read that again, man. It's a beautiful verse. And the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Lord, which is poured without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and with brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So, you know, the Lamb's gonna, the angels and the Lamb are going to be there watching you getting fucking nuked. Oh, that's so, that's so beautiful, man. And I don't want to be one of them. We don't want to be one of them dudes that's getting nuked and being watched by the Lord and the angels. That that you just don't want that. You just don't want that, man. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they had no rest, day nor night, who worshipped the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. So in the fit and see, we're pushing this word so hard, and um, 
you know, it's not going on deaf ears, man. Brothers are waking up all across the planet. Brothers are awoke, awoke man. Everybody's heard this word pretty much. But um, we're just waiting for these prophecies. But as we, even though we're doing all these shows, you got people that are still, these nasty whores are still shaking that stank on Instagram. These simple Zuberga niggas are giving them a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, seven thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand likes on um, Instagrams. There's more faggot niggas are becoming the biggest faggots ever now. Uh, you know, there's all kind of wickedness going. There's more. There's just a skyrocket of the amount of transgenders that are out there. It's fucking it's ridiculous, man. All right, this is this is stupid. But this is how it's gonna get right before the end. Okay. Right, and their smoke and the smoke of their and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they had no rest day nor night, who worshipped the beast and his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name, and that's that smoke going up forever is, bro, you nuke America, man. That's that, a whole country that big. I, I mean, America's massive, man. You, when you're in America driving up them highways, bro, you feel like that journey ain't never gonna end, man. You feel like that journey ain't never gonna end. In that big whacked out land, you knew call that man. That smoke ain't gonna be stopping, you know. In, in for now, man. That that <laughs> that's gonna be smoking for fucking years, man. Pretty much. You smoke, you burn, blow up a whole country, man. That that's gonna be burning, bro. The smoke of that, right? It says here is the patience. Uh, here is the patience. Um, here is the patience of the saints. Here. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Lord and faith of Yahweh Shai. And that's that's the Lord willing with the elect. And that's us, man. We, we're doing what we got to do to be of the elect. Point blank, period, man. Uh, right, so let me um, jump to Isaiah uh, uh, 40. Uh, and I want to get to the point. I don't want to go through all... Actually, it's not 40, man. Uh, bear with me again. Um, <clears throat> you know what, man? I usually know that off the back, but because I ain't got it in a while. That's usually what happens, man. You know. I'll be able to find this one. Uh, but I'm just saying, I, I should know it, man. But I just forgot it, man. Real talk, man. Um, oh, what's going on here, man? Shit's playing up, all right. Fucking search. See, Satan's just fucking with the fucking device, man. What's going on? Search, man. See, that's Satan. <laughs> That's Satan. Uh, see, now he doesn't even want to search for what I got. I'm pressing the fucking button and it's just not even working. See that? All right. Um, matter of fact, you know what? It might be Isaiah 15, man. Because it ain't. It ain't this. Um, you know what? You know what? There's a, there's a, this is part of what I wanted anyway. It's actually, there's a part, see, there's, that's the spirit. Isaiah 40 and um, uh, 28. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power, the Lord Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching out his understanding. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength and the Lord is actually going to physically going to do that with us. Right, even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings, as, as eagles. So I was in the I was in the right verse. I was in the right. But there's another one. I was actually there. Um, it says they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and shall not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Now you run up the road. I don't care. You know I train, man. I go jogging, boxing, and all that. 
all that, you know, but guess what, bro? Like, I mean, you sprint, man. You get tired as hell, man. You know, you you, you can't you can't run for miles, man. You can't you, like Gad used to do things like that. The tribe of Gad. They used to chase buffaloes down on foot and all that, like deer. I mean, you, you can't do that. Like that, you gotta be swift, man. You gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Like you get, you, you know, all these bodies are just fucking, the older you get as well, they just start breaking down, man. That's why the, you got prime, for boxers, there's prime years to be a boxer. You start getting older, man. You might have the skills to, to, to box, but have you got the young, the strength of the young lions? That's why the young lions always come in and take over the, the divisions. Because these bodies wear down. But our bodies ain't going to wear down, man. Okay? Our bodies are going to be... Uh, you're going you're gonna to be supermen and superwomen, man. And like I said, you, you go for a sprint anyway. But at the end of that sprint, <laughs> you know, you, you get you gasping for air. You feel like you're going to die, man. <laughs> you think it was like that in the ancient world, man? You crazy, man? Isaiah, I'll read that again, Isaiah 40 and 30. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They that mount, they, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So we ain't gonna run up the road and get fucking tired, man. You know, when you read, when you watch them ancient battles and stuff like that, you check out Samson. You think he was when he was fighting in Philistines. How do you, how does one man kill a thousand Philistines with the jawbone of an ass? You couldn't have been getting tired, man. You, know, you try and do that now, you get it, bro. You you smack one or two men up. You know you're gonna be tired already, man. Full force, full uh, force blows. You're gonna be tired. So that's that's how real this is, man. You know, but see that that that's the bodies you got now. <laughs> You know, you just can just about can take one person on, man. So that's that's that's. Well, anyway, it says they shall mount up with wings as eagles. Meaning, what we're gonna fly, man? Now that's why you got all these Marvel superheroes and and stuff like that. And um, you know, you got heathens that are obsessed with flying. You know, that's why you get these gurus that try and do these to do these to try and do witchcraft to levitate and all that. You know, East Indian gurus and. Or this, you know why? Because these dudes are obsessed with spiritual power, man. They say, oh, the body can, the body can do a lot of things. But guess what, man? The Lord's gonna make us be able to do all that. Be like Magneto, bending metal, harnessing fire from the hat, from the hands, controlling the elements, man. You know, you, you know that like you had Storm and X Men, and she was powerful because she could control all the weather. You know, any the elements, man. Pretty much rain, sleet, snow, thunder, all that. You know, that, that's powerful, man. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can... If there's any... If, the other one I was looking for... No, it's not that. I kind of forgot what it was, but I thought... I did think it was Isaiah uh, 40 and then 15, but it's not. But, um... But I got... You know, the Spirit had me... You know, pretty much... Uh, get... You know, a scripture, but that that pretty much was one of them. Um, anyway, um, like I said, so you know, pretty much, man, we're getting ready to get into the time of of of, of spiritual powers, man. Like when you read the book of Acts, you know, there was a lot of miracles going on. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm gonna end on this scripture, man, because um, I'm gonna close out in a bit. Let's see if. Uh, Give me a second. Uh, let me see if I can, if this is going to work now. Contain the books. Right, so Yahushai did miracles and he did so much miracles that the Bible says that the world could not even contain the books of all the miracles that he did and this is the proof here. John, and the Lord said, what I do, you shall do these and greater, man. So, 
you know, that's 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 what's gonna happen. Right? So it says uh John twenty one twenty five and there all and there and there are also many other things which Yahushai did uh the which if they should be written every one I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. So um you know Yahweh Shai man he came down with spiritual powers man and then the disciples started doing miracles and stuff and know that that's going to happen in this time man bro there's going to be a lot of things taking place you know when this 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 everything is spiritual bro you know and there's going to be a lot of things taking place man just be prepared for it man be prepared for the lord to start doing miracles you know the lord did uh, miracles in the time of egypt the Lord did miracles in the time when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, and the Lord's going to do miracles now. You know, the Lord's going to really open this up, and 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 some and, and some real spiritual things are going to start happening out here, man. You know what I mean? So, so um, you know, check in for that. And then pretty much, I mean, that's all. I mean, I've I've pretty much said what I need to say um, on that. You know, I pretty much brought out most of what I was going to bring out. Um, you know, so 2019 is what the year of the mark of the beast. And you know what? I'm going to close up on that scripture. Uh, the mark of the beast scripture, man. Um, and, um, you know, just keep pushing. Just keep pushing, man. Just keep pushing. Um, you know, because we're, in the, we're at the end of this thing. You know, just keep in the spirit, you know. Keep studying and keep watching the videos. Keep going out there. Keep the faith. Keep watching that news, you know. You know, cause you know we're, we're we're battling spirits and all that, man. We're battling, you know. So this is this is a, you know, this is um, a, you know, like a marathon, you know. It's not a sprint, so, um, you know, you gotta keep keeping the fight, you know. And you know, deal with them demons, man, and and just by you deal with the demons by staying in the scriptures. Uh, Revelation thirteen and sixteen, and he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And, um, you know, the RFID is the mark of the beast. And, you know, this is the year of the Karagma. So, you know, watch, watch, man. They're pushing this. They're pushing it. The cashless the RFID. It's being pushed. You, you know, a lot of people never ever would have thought that things would have got like this, man. If you're talking about you know, you think people in the fifties would have ever thought that if the world would have been like this with the technology and what things that people are doing. So what the hell are you people talking about? Oh, it can't happen. It's happening. You fucking dumb twat. Real talk, man. Some of you people are just so stupid. It's ridiculous, man. Technology is advanced and they're using. They're going to use it to enslave people, man. Bottom line, period. So the RFID is the mark of the beast. Don't take that. And um. You know, pretty much keep it pushing, man. You know, I mean, with that, uh, pretty much I'm going to close out. Uh, I'm going to say shalom to all the brothers, you know, uh, you know, teaching um, the, the scriptures, man. And, you know, may, you know, may we pray that the Lord gets us out of here in them glorious ships, you know, soon, you know, this year or whenever, you know, the Lord's going to set it up. But the Bible says hasten the day. So this is the year of the Karagma, man. We're going to see a lot of, a lot of things happening to do with these prophecies, man. Real talk. All right. So anyway, with that, uh, I'm going to say shalom. Um, catch you on the next one.